two or three, uh, we have 45 left. So they are gonna go very, very quickly if you wanna get yourself some origami. All right, um, I, I, y'all know, I've, I've, if you've been watching me forever, how long I spent uh, working in the restaurant business, uh, close to 20 years, and one of the jobs we had every, to do every day was doing our prep. It's the hardest part of the job, right? You get out there and you cook and you're making burgers and you're making sandwiches and all that. None of that is possible unless your patties are made, or your vegetables are chopped, uh, your, 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 uh, everything is sliced up ahead of time because that's how you save money and get people in and out as quickly as you can. Um, normally you'd have to use uh, a, a regular knife, um, you know, chef's knife. Those can be a little bit difficult. Let me introduce you to the PL8 handheld mandolin. One of the easiest ways you will slice anything ever, okay? Mandolins have been around for a long, long time. They were invented in France. It's a way, I actually think they were invented in Germany. John will correct me on that. Um, it's a way to make uh, like coleslaw and stuff. And, and John will tell the story, but this, you can slice tomatoes uh, paper thin. You've got multiple levels of being able to do the thickness on this without having to change out blades. It is so smart. We have two choices today. You can either do it in red or black. It comes with a magic peeler, one of the best peelers you'll ever find on the planet. It comes along with it. it. comes with a little safety hand guard so you can put the fruit or veg inside and just run it over, slice it right into a bowl or right into your dish. Um, $32.99, John Florell standing by. And I, I, I like to get to John quick because let me tell you, Watch John use this machine and know that John is being very safe. Everything is protected. But what comes out of this machine, John, is incredible. It really is, Guy, and thanks for having me on this morning. Hey, listen, uh, like you said, mandolins have been around forever. It's a simple tool, but every professional chef in the world has a mandolin in their kitchen tools arsenal somewhere because it does uniform slices, okay? So no matter what fruit, vegetable, meat, or cheese that you're gonna use, you get those uniform slices. What makes plate different, okay, is you can see actually the blades are razor sharp, okay? I mean, these things are real, uh, they, they'll cut everything but bad habits and taxes. But <laughs> here's the cool part about this. It has a guide that locks over the mainframe. And so you put your vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese inside that guide and the safety holder has four stainless steel prongs and a free floating button on top. So all you do is push down on that button, your fingers are far away from the blade so you can't cut yourself, and you get uniform, perfect slices each and every time. So whether you're making pan fries, home fries, or raw fries, cottage fries, American fries, whatever you wanna call them, they'll fry up evenly because they're all sliced evenly. Now the hardest thing in the kitchen to slice has gotta be something soft, like a tomato, <laughs> because nobody seems to have a knife sharp enough. Well, with this machine, it cuts, like I said, razor sharp. Now, it's adjustable too. So if these slices are too thick, watch what you do. There's no parts and pieces to go searching through drawers to change this out. All you do is slide a slide, okay? It raises the platform up. Every time I push that button forward, it moves that platform up. So you can go from thick to medium to thin. Here, I'll show you the medium slice. And look at this, perfect for salads wow. or sandwiches. And there's no way that you can slice this safe, fast, or thin with a knife, but with this machine, they all come out perfect and uniform. And that's why you're gonna love a mandolin. And I gotta tell you this, uh, for cucumbers, if you do anything like, make, make, how about bread and butter pickles or cucumber salad? Maybe you wanna nickel down carrots for canning or slice beets for pickling. The hardest thing in the kitchen to slice, everybody says, are onions because you cry. But look at this guy, you can put an onion in the safety holder and slice them perfectly for salad, wow. sandwiches, for homemade uh, backyard barbecued hamburgers, for sauteed peppers and onion, <coughs> steak and onion, liver and onion, and you get perfect uniform slices each and every time. You cannot make a mistake with this machine. And the cool part about this, and you mentioned it earlier, these were originally developed in Germany uh, over 300 years ago. The Germans used it back then as a cabbage board for sauerkraut. I have one of the originals. Okay? Oh, that's cool, I John. found this in a barn somewhere. Yeah. This is the original mandolin. I mean, it's over a couple hundred years old, all made of wood, but look at this. The difference now, everything is handheld. It has a handle on one side, so whether you're right-handed or left-handed, either way, it doesn't matter. With this machine, you'll make the fastest, freshest, finest coleslaw, hot slaw, pepper slaw, chow chow. Hey, on, uh, on taco night, 
do this with a head of lettuce for on, on, for iceberg lettuce oh, for yeah. tacos yep. or for a salad. Now, if you want it more coarse, of course, you can do that just by sliding this little this little uh, tab right here at the top. So if you want it thicker or thinner, you can adjust it that way. But watch this. There's a little tab right here on the side of the machine. This little tab raises up teeth. Okay, when I slide that forward, it has two rows of teeth. So whether you like a large or a thick dice or a thick julienne or a fine dice or a fine, a thin julienne, now the difference, instead of shredding your cabbage long and stringy like this, like Al likes it, now you can do it minced perfectly for coleslaw, oh, deli yeah. style coleslaw with no lumps, humps or bumps. Uh, guy, it comes out more, look at that. I mean, oh, you wow. could almost sip that through a straw. Love it. <laughs> yeah, see, you have options, right, John? You can change it up. I love that. <laughs> and you know, for onions, here's the cool part about this, okay? Instead of playing tic-tac-toe with a knife on an onion like most people would do, with those teeth in that, in that uh, julienne mode, you can chop any vegetable that grows in layers like onions, celery, or cabbage, what it does is it breaks apart the rings of the onion to give you that perfect minced onion for things wow. like tuna fish or chicken salad, for homemade tacos or meatloaf. On, on taco night, you're gonna love it. But even things that take a ton of time to chop, watch this, celery. You can do one stalk at a time if you want, or look, use the whole bunch to get the job done quick. Guy, you'll chop more celery in 10 seconds than you could chop in 10 minutes with a knife. Look at that. I mean, talk about saving time. Yeah, you know, I, I, I wish I wish we had these back in the restaurant days because everybody was prepping with a knife, John. And you know, you and I have really good knife skills because we've been doing this for a long, long time. But, but let me just tell you, None of the skills that John and I have, or even uh, you know Wolfgang or Curtis, none of these, nobody can cut with the consistency of a machine like this, okay? And the nice thing is there's nothing to plug in. When you're done with it, you rinse it out in the sink, you put it back in the drawer. It's never been easier. All your fruits and veggies consistently cut, which will also uh, allow you to get maximum yield out of everything. I don't know how many of you have, have, have screwed up a tomato trying to slice it with a dull knife or even a sharp knife. This is gonna give you perfect slices every time. If you like those uh, submarine sandwiches, and you're, or, or if you're putting platters out for people. You're, you know, you're, you're doing a lot of entertaining at home with your family and you wanna mix it up a little bit, make things look nice, you can do all of that. We've done, we, I mean, think about it. Squash is a great is a great one to be able to do. Fruits with, with a, a tough outer skin, they look so great when they're cut evenly, but when you muck them up, they're kinda like, eh, you know, this is an easy way to do it. And John, you only have, realistically, you got one thing to clean. Right? That's it. Yeah, that's the whole, <laughs> that's the cool part about it. It's easy to clean. You just rinse it off like a knife guy. Yeah. And look at this. I mean, anything solid. Now, I showed you the onions and celery and the cabbage. It automatically minces. But something solid will give you a shoestring or a julienne cut. So you can do your carrots, your zucchini. You can even julienne your celery long and stringy like this. So for, for like stir fries yeah. or for, a, a, for wok cooking or for a salad. But here, you know where I think you're gonna love it? French fries. You know, <laughs> I went to one of those fast food places the other day, 95 cents for a four ounce package of French fries. Yeah. That, that's $4 a pound for potatoes, guy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> potatoes are cheap. Now you can make them home yourself. And if you like bigger pieces, Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna drop one, one row of those knives down, those little blades, and watch the difference now. Here, I'll even use a sweet potato. We'll make some sweet potato french fries. I'll do it out here in the front. Look at the difference in the size of these fries. Yeah. So you get the different sizes. You can either do a shoestring fry, or you can do a, a, a sweet potato fry, or you can make them large, you can make them small, however you like them you can do them with the plate mandolin. You know, John, you know what this this tool is great for too? Anybody out there that does dehydrating? Oh my gosh, you gotta have this, Oh right? yeah. If you're dehydrating, uh, even uh, things like, you know, finer fruits, strawberries, things like that, apples, um, whatever it is that you dehydrate, it's so easy when you have those consistent slices and it's everything. Otherwise, when you pull your trays, because I have a dehydrator, you pull your trays out, if the thickness is offset, some are gonna be done and some are not. And then they gotta go back in, you gotta pull the good ones out. This, this is ideal for that because you get that consistency and you also get 
the safety. You know, uh, in the old days, you know, you'd see these mandolins, but you wouldn't see the holder. I always tell everybody, use the holder. Um, you know, John's been doing this a long time, so is I. In the beginning, we don't use the holder when, we're, when we've got the, the, the fruit or vegetable far away. But when you get down there, as you get good with it, you always yeah. want to use that holder. John knows that too. But, but I John, always say, yeah, when you get down to three inches, grab that safety holder. Yes. Yep. Because the blade is sharp, and that's what makes it work. Now, Guy, there is one thing that you won't be using the safety holder for, and I, this is a tip from my kitchen to yours. Sure. This isn't in the instruction book or anything, but it's a helpful tip if you like taking corn off the cob. Put the machine on its thickest slice, and then at home, I don't have one here today, but wear an oven mitt on your hand, and all you do is just brush it through. Every time you brush it through, just give that corn a little turn. It takes four or five rows of sweet corn off the cob every time you run it through the machine. So for creaming or steaming, for boiled or buttered corn, for relishes, for corn chowder, I, I mean, look at that. You get full kernels of corn, but you don't get any cob in the corn. And then yeah, you can perfect. even use the underside of the machine. This is what I do at home. You can milk the cob for your cream style corn, for your succotash, soups, stews, chowders. That way you get all the goodness off the cob. Maybe you've got kids with braces or a grandfather with teeth like the stars. You know, they come out at night. <laughs> they can't chew the corn off the cob. So you have to do it, for, you, you take it off for them. But now, I mean, with this machine, like I said, and by the way, I gotta mention this too. I almost forgot one of the coolest things about this uh, set today is that we give you a, a vegetable peeler with it and this is not just a normal vegetable peeler it has a control ball on it so if you have potatoes that, that can see you know with the eyes in it yeah you can use that control ball to pop those eyes out of your potato you can peel forward or backwards it peels in both directions but you can have a lot of fun with this peeler you can make all you can do your uh, veggies in strips like this for sauteing you can do your carrots, apples, beets, pears, yeah. and, and kiwi fruit. Now you'll be peeling, I mean, well, razor sharp and made by plate, the same quality stainless steel you're gonna love and it. the same durability and, and quality of the plate and, mandolin. And it's a customer pick. Everybody loves it. John, great job. I love all the demos. You're making me hungry. I'm going to go home and eat a salad now. I'm going to be good <laughs> and have a salad. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you again soon. All right, thanks, Guy. Happy thanks. slicing. All right, thanks, John. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we've got some great treats for it, including our best.